Well, it's that time again. If you guys are subscribed to this channel and you have the notifications on to see when these videos go live and you happen to be, you know, available at the time when it happens, you just hit the jackpot again, potentially, because I have a really, really, really big update for you of something that just changed in the game and some further details about it that's going to change the markets again. So uh, if you guys have any money sitting around, you're going to want to invest it immediately into some items. So before that, though, let's go ahead and take a look at the forums and we're going to go through some things real fast. All right, so the devs had some comments on different posts, and it all started with this one. Bronze Wolf, Terror Wolf mob dropping life modes by the hundreds. Arcana can now be cheese. Not sure if it's bug or intentional. Don't understand, but these things drop crazy mouse. Posted the screenshot. 100 wordwood, 100 life modes. Filled my inventory with 10k life modes. Some of the town transformed them into their green upgrade, blue upgrade, purple upgrade. Give me quite a lot of Arcana levels. It's intentional. If it's intentional, Arcana can now be cheese. 0 to 201 sitting. If this is a bug, please fix as soon as possible. Very shortly after, Luxendra, community manager, with this emoji of eyeballs, looking into this. Thanks. Okay, we're like, oh, okay, wait. Looking into this. I'm not sure of that, right? Then we go to another one, and this one was 20 level, 33 wolves dropped, 1,600 plus emotes. And Luxendra again. The amount is not intended. It's been noted in our bug mega thread. So we go to the bug mega thread, and over here we have life moats are dropping at an increased rate. Now they only listed life moats, but uh, I don't think that's the end of that. So let's take a look at stability. Okay, so they, they had the stability updates thing uh, because wars were completely just destroyed. And then they updated that with something else. So the teams continue to work on the fix I mentioned above. But we are also temporarily disabling the ability to gather certain elemental creatures that were dropping more resources than, than intended. We'll continue to share updates when we have them in this thread. Thank you. So the wolves, the bears, and maybe deer poop, and the water wolves which I never even mentioned because there's only like one in the world. So I didn't even bother. Uh, apparently that you can't gather them anymore. You can't chop them up. You can't mine them. You can't get, I don't know about the poop one. I actually don't know about that one. I might have to test that one. Uh, but the other ones, you can't uh, get them at least. And uh, I'll, I'm gonna check it real fast. I'll check it for us before I do this. But then we're gonna take a look at the markets and see where my markets are at as a reference point after all this. Cause just literally yesterday, I was telling you guys, go go fast, go go mine up those moats from those things and go sell them before the prices drop and go buy the live quintessence and sell it back later because it's not worth 0.5 anymore since they don't drop live quintessence. And now we're going to have a complete reversal. So hopefully you guys did that, made a bunch of money, and now you're going to be able to take that money and you're going to be able to turn it into more money again. Okay, but let me double check though. We better double check before we get invested in this. Let's actually see what happens when we kill one of these things and see if we can actually mine it or not, or, you know, chop it up. All right, so servers are down for maintenance, so real fast, I'm gonna go on here, but a lot of people in my company already know all this stuff, so the moats are already coming back up. So life moats are barely worth buying, but earth moats are still worth buying on my server. So I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna explain some tricks on knowing how to price this. So the problem is every single server, the baseline price of what these are supposed to go for is going to be different. And so if you weren't watching your moat market and you don't know what is normal for moats on your server, there is a trick you can use to kind of get a rough idea of what these are supposed to be worth. And the way that's going to work is you're going to look at three different modes. Let me just buy these last ones right here real fast. Actually, I'm going to skip ahead. Guys, I'm buying a bunch of moats. Okay, because earth moats on my server are normally worth 0.7. So I'm probably going to buy these up to 0.4. So hold on, I'm going to skip ahead. Also, I want to point out before I skip ahead of that, water moats are also something that might be worth way less now because there were dogs that dropped water moats instead of water quintessence. And on my server, the water moats went down. Normally on my server, water moats are worth about one apiece, and I'm seeing them around 0.4. This might be your biggest opportunity because a lot of people forget all about the water moats, but not the people who are farming them. And so the price crashed for these two. Uh, but they're the water dogs, there's only two of them in the game, and they have five minute respawn, so there's not a lot of these that could get farmed. But apparently it did crash the price yesterday. So like I said, I'm going to buy these up to 0.5 probably right here. And then I'm going to sit on them until the price comes up. And then I'm going to unload them. But anyway, so in order to get the price of your moats, there are 
three different modes to look at. Okay, actually, I was going to say soul, but I forgot about the deer thing, the deer poop thing. So, actually, death modes. Okay, death modes. Look at the price of death modes. Look at the price of fire modes. And look at the price of air modes. And so, you're going to kind of average between those ones. And then that is the general price of what most of the moats go for, except for earth and life. Normally, normally. So if, if you know if those all these animals drop quintessence and not moats, or if they were to drop like one moat and you know nothing important, then uh, you're just going to take these. And so soul will be worth about the same. So in my case right now, I'd say with air at 0 0.75 and fire moats at 0 0.75, and then death moats at one, you know, it's like a normal price for soul motes before this happened uh, would be, you know, around around one. Soul was actually one of the more expensive ones before the deer started dropping them. Uh, and then water is about the same. Water was generally like the same as fire or death or something. So probably 0.7 to one right now on my server would be about where water's at. But then earth and life are different. So generally, whatever I see for these. Earth is generally like 0.75 times as expensive. So if everything's one, then Earth modes are generally like 0.75. Now, if the average of all these others is like right now, it's like 0.8, then Earth modes are generally down to like 0.6 or something like that. And that's how it was before anything started dropping Earth modes, you know, before all this craziness. And then for the life modes, you take the average of all these things, fire modes, death modes, uh, it used to be soul modes, but we'll stick with air modes. Any of these ones that don't drop from, you know, animals now. Or, well, they shouldn't be dropping, and apparently they got disabled. But uh, you take the average of those three and cut it in half. And that's around where life modes are. And I've been on a few different servers, and those ratios tend to stick pretty well. Now, the price can vary on a day-by-day -day basis and week-by-week -week basis. You might see a point where fire modes are like 0.5, and you're like, oh, whoa, that's the Like, I watch them all the time. So I'm like, okay, that's insanely low for fire modes. You know, I've seen fire modes at 1.5, you know, but generally this will work to help you get a rough idea of the price that you, they're worth. But if you are, if no one on your server caught on yet and you see life modes at like 0.05 or something, buy them immediately. Buy them immediately. If you see them at 0 0.01, buy them immediately. And if you're on a low pop server, you just, maybe just hold them for a server merge because they'll be worth more after a server merge probably than 0 .01. Uh, if you're on a high pop, I don't even know, but I, there's no way these are worth 0 0.01. I mean, if they were 0 0.01, you have no risk. So just, if you see these at all like that, just buy them. I mean, you got no money to risk, risk a thousand coins. And if you make money, it's gonna be like 10K plus. So like, it's gonna be crazy. Also, you may want to take a quick look at the wisps because it takes five wisps to make, or five motes to make a wisp. So right here, this one, this is 0.22 for each earth mode if I buy this. Uh, so there might be a few little good deals for you if you check in here in the actual wisp market. And the same thing might happen for essence, but it's a little bit less likely. And essence is kind of a little more annoying to deal with as far as moving it. But uh, like this right here, that's equivalent of getting the wisps for 1.07 like, or something so it's like this is a decent deal and you know what i'll just buy them because i have so much money like i don't care it's whatever i uh, maybe i'll turn these around in a few days for 10 or 12 a piece or something and if not i'll just sell them back and i'll raise some taxes for weaver's fen now that the taxes are you know based on the area that you're from let's take a look at life essence so life essence hold on, let me do some math Okay, so this is the equivalent of paying 0.15 for the life motes. So I'm going to go ahead and snag these up at three apiece. Uh, and then I'll just stop there, and that's good enough for me. Uh, I don't know that I'll push it further than that. Um, I'll take the 315. Why not? I'll take the 315, but I think I'll call it right there. I'm not going to buy 2300 at 3.5, although I may regret it someday. I might have been able to double my money on this one. It would have been a... 16 you know an 8,000 coin profit if you know it all panned out well but we don't know what's gonna happen and then maybe maybe they'll make it so oh now they drop 20 to 30 motes instead of whatever but anyway uh so that's what's going on with buying these let me go double check though to make 100 percent sure that these stop dropping uh i may have just screwed myself but probably not i mean, everyone's been telling me that they don't drop now so i'll just go ahead and double check it though let's let's make sure all right so the first test i killed one of these dryad dogs let's see if i can 
harvest him. Nope. Can't do it. Nope. Yep, it's just, wow. That's a weird way to make it not work, but there you go. So I guess what's happening is you send a signal to the server saying, hey, I'm going to chomp. And the server's like, no, you can't. <laughs> it just cancels my animation. <laughs> okay. So, nope, they can't. Let's go test the bear. Let's go test the deer poop. Let's go test the water dogs. Oh, we got deer poop. We got deer poop. Please pick it up. Oh, my God. The deer poop still works, though. The deer poop still works. Although, collecting deer poop kind of sucks. But if you guys feel like collecting deer poop all day, you could still potentially make, like, thousand plus coins an hour collecting deer poop it's really not that great money per hour to be honest with you guys also if you are going to collect deer poop uh i highly recommend killing the deer after you get the poop because from my experience with it it's really buggy and my best guess was they can only poop once per life so i was i don't know i had better luck when i killed the deer after collecting the poop every time that was just me i don't know you guys try to distract you want but let's go try the bears now let's try the, try the water wolf that's very interesting that they did not catch on to the deer poop one all right so let's check out the bear. Oh, same thing. You go to server, server says nope. It pulls me out of the animation, so no bear. I've got one thing left to test, and that is going to be the water wolves. So that's going to take me a minute to go over there. I'll, let's go back to that, obviously. All right, I've got some of these ice dogs, and we can't get these either. Okay, so it's confirmed they're all disabled, except for the deer poop. If you still want to farm deer poop for money, you can definitely do that. Uh, that's very, very interesting. Okay, so you better go quick because a lot of people are realizing this on their own because of the video last night and it's putting two and two together. But a lot of you might get lucky here. Make be sure to check the wisps. Be sure to check the essences. If you don't know the price of moats, you don't know what the normal price should be, then like I said, do the type of the math that I showed earlier in the video. Hopefully you guys can get lucky and get some of these deals. Hopefully they'll work out and some of you guys will make a bunch of money. Uh, and if you are not, if you're watching this video like hours and hours after it came out, well, you're probably just out of luck because everyone on every server is going to have realized by then and bought them all up. But don't worry, I do have more videos like this coming out. I have one planned for today, actually. We'll see if I get it out by then. Of more investment opportunities like this, or it's sort of like this. This one's kind of an oddball one, but uh, more opportunities, more things to invest in now that trading posts are linked, now that a bunch of changes went through. There are a bunch of opportunities out in the market right now. And I'm going to have a video coming out for that. So make sure you subscribe for that if that sounds interesting to you. If you want to keep up with any time there's an update like this and you want to be the first to know, be sure to subscribe and make sure your notifications are on and hope that you get lucky and a video drops when you're available to get on and play. Uh, or if you want to get money guides or build guides or all sorts of new world guides or just new world news, then definitely consider subscribing to this channel. But hopefully, you guys, make some money off this. Hopefully, it works out for you and hopefully... Uh, they don't turn it back on and then it suddenly change everything, but you should be able to make some decent coin as long as you can get in early uh, on this whole moat craziness and you can still farm the deer poop, honestly. But hopefully now you'll make some money in New World.